Hey, this is Mike for Licked. In this video, I'll show you how to create film quality sound effects in Adobe Audition CC. Film quality sound is all about layering and also certain effects to really make stuff pop out of the speakers. Let me give you an example. Let's create a gun scene, maybe in the Wild West with some howling wind. Uh, so stick them up, buddy. It's not really that effective. It doesn't sound film quality at all. It's just like a toy pop gun almost. So we want to take that toy pop gun and kind of make it into something explosive, cinematic and amazing. And let's do that. And let's work inside the multi-track for this. This will give us multiple tracks, clicking multi-track. Let's call it Wild West. And uh, then we can layer up different effects. So here's my original gunshot on track one. There we go. And I've got gunshot two as well. Let's pull that in and have a listen. Okay, two gunshots. Let's place that on track two, zoom in and play back. Okay, already, it sounds better than just one. Okay, and what we can do is we can take and we can pan this using the pan dials here. So we'll pan this one slightly to the left, this one slightly to the right. Maybe a bit more so you can really hear that stereo effect. Okay, now you're getting a cinematic effect, particularly if you're listening to this tutorial in headphones. Nice gunshot. We can still do a little bit better. Let's move this along a little bit to the 1.5 second mark. And what have we got here? We've got a flare gun. Let's have a listen to this. Oh, now this has a lovely after effect there. So let's pull that in, layer that again here. Let's make sure it's perfectly synced up. A bit more. Okay, sounding good. And then we'll go ahead and bring in an air gun. What is an air gun? Oh yeah, that sounds good. That's a nice little bit of sonic bass. So we'll put that on track four. And already, as you can see, we've used four sound effects to make one great, compelling cinematic sound. Much better. And then we'd like the sound of the gun loading, wouldn't we? So let's grab this. Perfect. So we'll put that just ahead of the gunfire. Perfect. Now we're starting to get somewhere with our sequence. We can still do a little bit better. And I think maybe an explosion down here on track six will seal the deal for us. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. Wow, and the lovely crackle of the explosion there. And now if we want, we can actually duplicate this as many times as we want by selecting everything and then holding down the Alt or Option key if you're on Mac and doing this again. So popping this over, say for instance here, so we can do this and then again. So we can have as many repetitions of that effect as we like. Let's place it in the Wild West with some howling winds down on new track seven and we've got some howling wind going on. And then we want to create the right ambience, the right atmosphere, because it sounds a bit clinical right now. And if we're working uh, with film, we definitely want that. So window and we want to go for essential sound. Now we can tag clips as different things. So this one down here on track seven uh, will be ambience. Let's solo this and put some outside ambience on it. Lots of reverb there. Stereo width we can increase and make this a real stereo haunting kind of soundtrack. Next, we'll unsolo that, we'll mute this, and we'll look at all of these, and we'll label them SFX. And then again, we can add heavy reverb on using essential sound. And listen to the difference that makes. So without the reverb, clinical. With reverb. Really nice, sounds like it's dramatic. You can also go for light reverb or outside reverb, really cool. And room reverb, just some of the ways you can easily get going. Let's go for outside reverb, bring the wind back in. And when we're happy with that, that whole sequence, what we can actually do is right click all of those waveforms and then we'll look in this menu here, many different options that you can see. Uh, but as you go down, you will actually see bounce to new track uh, the selected clips in time selection, boom. Now we've got our mix down gun effect on this bounce track one. So we can actually now mute out all of the layered tracks. And what we can now do is use this track, maybe even insert another track. So let's add a new stereo track. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this by holding down Alt or Option, grabbing the title and, and then again, 
two gunshots there. So there you go. It's a process of layering your effects, using essential sound to tag sound effects and ambience, adding on reverb, and also making sure that you've got the bounce track so you can duplicate this to your heart's content and have as many gunshots as you want. But using multiple effects and definitely some background ambience is the key to creating a cinematic film sequence from scratch in Adobe Audition. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you'd like to use the track I'm using in the background right now, head over to Licked.